The Battle of Buistok Minsk was a German strategic operation conducted by the Wehrmacht's Army Group Center under Field Marshal Fedor von Bock during the penetration of the Soviet border region in the opening stage of Operation Barbarossa, lasting from 22 June to July 9, 1941. The Army Group 2nd Panzer Group under Colonel General Heinz Guderian and the 3rd Panzer Group under Colonel General Hermann Hoth decimated the Soviet frontier defenses, defeated all Soviet counterattacks and encircled four Soviet armies of the Red Army's Western Front near Buistok and Minsk by 30th of June. The majority of the Western Front was enclosed within, and the pockets were liquidated by 9th of July. The Red Army lost 420,000 men against Wehrmacht casualties of somewhat over 12,157. The Germans destroyed the Soviet Western Front in 18 days and advanced 460 kilometers into the Soviet Union, causing many to believe that the Germans had effectively won the war against the Soviet Union. The Soviet troops trapped in the gigantic pockets continued fighting, and concluding operations resulted in high German casualties. An estimated 250,000 Soviet troops escaped because of the lack of German infantry troops' motor transport, which slowed the encirclement process. The quick advance east created the possibility for the Wehrmacht to advance rapidly towards the land bridge of Smolensk from which an attack on Moscow could be planned. It also created the impression in the OKW that the war against the Soviet Union had already been won within days of its start. Still, Hitler blamed the panzer generals for leaving gaps in the lines. The panzer generals were deeply frustrated since for almost a week, their advance east had been stopped while they closed the pocket. They waited for the infantry to catch up and feared the momentum of the armored offensive would be lost. Front Commander General Pavlov and his front staff were recalled to Moscow and accused of intentional disorganization of defense and retreat without battle. They were soon executed by the NKVD for cowardice and failure to perform their duties and their families were repressed. They were pardoned in 1956. An exception was Pavlov's operations officer, General Ivan Bolden, who had been cut off by the German advance at a forward headquarters in the first days of the invasion but then fought his way back to Soviet lines with over 1,000 other soldiers a month and a half later.